Hi, this is George Mutt with Enterprise DNA, and in this presentation, we're going to look at visualizing missing data using the GG mice package in R. All right, so this is a really important question when you're analyzing data. You find missing values. Hopefully, they're easy to find, right? They're coded as nulls or NAs, etc., and you want to know well, what to do next. So again, like with most things in analytics, it depends. But some general rules of thumbs, next steps we're going to look at here. So uh, we want to know, well, how many are there, right? How big is the problem? And can you find any patterns in the data? There are a lot of ways to do this, but we're going to use visualization as that first exploratory start. Uh, if it turns out that there's really no pattern in how they're missing, uh, and it's affecting less than like 5% of the observations, whether that's in the column, the data set, etc., um, you, you could probably just drop those those missing values. Uh, if it turns out that it's more widespread and you could find some significant patterns right based on the visualizations, then you may need to uh, do something with that data, imputing it. You don't want to just drop it, right? Because there's probably a story to be had about why those values are missing in the pattern that they are. Now, we're not going to actually impute the missing values right now, but we're going to use a package that works with a package that will impute them, if that makes sense. Uh, we are going to use ggmice. This is a pretty new package for visualizing missing values. Uh, we're going to look at what's called a plot pattern. The idea here is that we can, again, like I said, try to find the pattern, try to find how many missing values there are. Uh, and then we're going to look at this plot predictor matrix. Now, here is uh, why mice is called mice. It is multivariate imputation by chain methods. We're not going to get into the mechanics there, uh, but what we can see here is how this uh, algorithm would impute our data if we use it. We're not going to do it right now. Um, the other nice thing to know with GG mice is that it's really meant to be GG plot two compatible, so we're able to build some visualizations on the back of GG plot two, the famous visualization package. Okay, so we're going to boot up our studio. We'll make all the data and the scripts, etc., available to you, and you can open up your R Studio and follow along if you'd like. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is import all the packages that we're going to need. Uh, so obviously that's going to be GG Mice. We're also going to want the tidyverse, which includes GG Plot 2. And we're going to use this ACDAT data set. Now this data set, I'm sorry, this package has a lot of good data sets to practice on. And that's why we're going to use it. That's why we're importing it. Okay, and one of the packages is, I'm sorry, one of the data sets is this MCAS. Okay, so I'm going to run the help function on this. This is from ACDAT. We can see that there. This is a test score data set. So this is going to tell us the help documentation uh, it tells us a bit about where it came from, and really, most importantly right now, it's describing each of these columns, so that's helpful to know where it's from, etc. So we're going to use this one, and we're going to try to learn a little bit more about are there missing data, what pattern uh, do they form, if any. And the first thing we could do is with this call sums function, now this is from base R, is NA, is R's way to check for is the value missing or not, and Basically, actually, let's do this first. If I do is NA on this MCAS and I run it, you're going to see a bunch of trues and false. So basically, what we can do is sum these because, as you may know, falses and trues are zeros and ones in disguise. So we can take that Boolean state and then just sum it. And we can see missing values are found in, I believe, three columns. Yeah, SPC. Uh, SCA nav salary, and we can see what those are over here. Okay, um, you know, maybe we want to see these in terms of percentages, that makes sense. All we would need to do in that case is just divide by n rows, so the number of rows of MCAS, and that's going to turn this into percentages. And this is not the easiest to look at, so this is just one way. This is a start, and let's look at what GG mice can do for us. So, first thing I'm going to do, uh, just for your own edification. You can look at this later. This browse vignettes package, a function I should say, package equals, we're going to do gg mice. I'm going to run this and that's not what we want. We want this one. Uh, we can see here there are some uh, vignettes. Vignettes, it's hard, hard to say. 
uh, we can click on GG Mice, and this is a nice little tutorial if you want to check that out later. Uh, but we have a tutorial for you right now, so you can you can take ours first. So we're going to go back to our script here, and first thing I'm going to do is this plot pattern function. All right, so we're going to pass in the data set we want to visualize, and this is a little hard to see. Let me zoom this in. And these column headers, okay, there we go. So basically what this is doing for us, okay, so we're going to see, for example, that SPC has nine missing values. We see 25 here, and then we get up to 40. We know that there are uh, about 155 observations. And really what we're, what we're looking for is, okay, do any of these tend to coincide? how many are there, right? So this says number of missing entries. Um, so we're looking for, well, any of these coinciding, do they tend to be kind of in clusters? And it kind of looks like these three columns are obviously the only missing ones. And this one, this total SC8 has the most, SPC has the least, et cetera. Okay, so what we could even do to CrossFit this, if, if this isn't making sense, let's try something more analog. I'm going to go uh, back to my script and we're going to do view MCAS. Now, if I run this, this is kind of like a spreadsheet viewer. I could even expand this, click here, and this pulls it out. So basically what we're seeing here are all the missing values. So this is very power query ask, right? We see NA. Uh, we see that we have a missing value here. We have some down here and we'll keep going. There are 220 total entries, and I think it was like 155 on the plot, so it looks like some of them, you know, there were probably complete values and they weren't plotted per se. Uh, but we can see that they do kind of tend to cluster together, right? There are all these obviously variables, but then there are rows. And I mean, in some cases, when one's missing, both are. In a lot of the other cases, right, only one or the other are missing. But again, you know, it's really hard to do this visual or, you know, just row by row. So that's what the visualization is for. Okay, so let's close out of this. So there's our plot. Again, we're seeing that how many there are, what the patterns are. Um, in this case, you know, 40 out of like 200 observations, I think, what was it, n row. <clears throat> so we're seeing that, um, and we could even do sum is... NA, we could do MCAS, uh, I think it's salary, or actually it's this one. So yeah, we have 40 out of 220. And so you could even just do use R as a fancy calculator. We have about 20% missing values there. That's kind of a lot. Ideally, we would really know why so many are missing. Maybe it's just how the data was collected. We could impute this, we're not going to right now, but if you wanted to, here's another step to do that. So I think we already called in the mice package. Actually, we did not, so let's make sure we have that too. Uh, so mice, we're gonna run this. And again, this is the imputation, one imputation method. Um, what I'm gonna do here is mcas pred. We're gonna do quick pred. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is plot pred, uh, mcas, mcas, pred. All right, so I'm going to plot this. Okay, it looks like I haven't actually saved that. So make sure these are both run. Now, basically what we're doing here is uh, if we were to, I'm trying to zoom in on this. I don't know why it's, okay, I'm going to decrease the font size of our studio. And now let's try to zoom in on this again. Better. Okay, so if we were to use multivariate imputation, Basically, this is saying that uh, the idea with this algorithm is that it's going to try to find uh, observations and data points that are similar to the ones that are missing and then try to fill those in. So, for example, uh, these columns for, for the SPC column, these columns would be helpful to try to predict the missing values, right? And so on for uh, this total score eight so much for average salary. So we're not actually doing it, but we're seeing what 
values, what variables are kind of related, it might be helpful to impute those values. Okay, let's try one more thing. I'm going to zoom in, control plus to do that. And we're going to do gg mice. This is going to be the MCAS data set. So this is very gg plot esque. So we're going to specify our aesthetics. It's going to be average salary. Uh, y is going to be total score 8. Uh, and then we want g on points. So this is a scatter plot, except we're using gg mice. Now, the idea here is we can actually see. The relationship between these two variables that have quite a few missing values and where one of them uh, is missing and the other is available we can see where those points are so in this case you know both of these are observed in one of these cases one of them is missing the other is not uh, if both of these are missing it's not going to be on the plot right because there's nothing uh, really to plot here okay so that is everything we're going to cover for ggmice. Again, you can check the tutorial, use this function. Let's recap here to uh, head off on our own. All right, so when we work with missing values, it's tempted to use something like mice, really cool algorithm, very powerful to impute values. Uh, it's better to actually explore the data for yourself, really understand what's going on. Um, Ideally, if we do have a lot of missing data, we want to figure out why, and maybe we can try to get some more data, right? Or uh, we can impute it, but uh, ideally going straight to the source is always preferred, or at least understanding why if it's not possible to get more. Um, if we ended up wanting to impute the missing values, and maybe we can do that in another tutorial, you can do some simple imputation methods with the tidyr package, uh, imputing by like the mean or the median, something like that. Mice is a lot more powerful. Um, it could be overkill for some things. It's very computationally intensive, but really we were focused right now on just the visualization element of it. So I uh, hope you learned something. Hope you can use this package. It's, it's pretty new. So uh, be sure to share it and try to get the word out because it's a nice package to work with missing values that is very ggplot compatible as the name suggests. Okay, so that's everything. Thank you for tuning in. This is George Mount with Enterprise DNA. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.